back to another video in this video i'm gonna make a short review on aosp extended drone which is really very fine i'm using for a few days which is very smooth and perfect battery backup with genom kernel which is older version i'll provide the link in the description you guys can check it out and this one will work on Redmi 7 and Redmi Y3 as well. You can see the animation here. You can see the animation. In every icon you will get animation. You can see. So first move on to the setting. You can see I am using a custom font. Which is provided by AOSP extended ROM. You will get so many font in that ROM. Let me show you the version. I'm using on my Redmi 7 which is AEX AUSP version. You can see the kernel, Genome Magic kernel. I will provide the link in description. After flashing ROM, you have to flash that uh, Genome kernel if you want to. But on the default kernel, you won't get so much battery backup. So that's why I recommend you to install uh, Genome kernel. Then you will get so a really good battery backup on your daily drive. You can use on your daily life in this, that room. You can see you will get focus mode there. Here is the extension, the customization center here. You will get a status bar. You will get the same options as you get on the other ROMs. A clock setting. You can change the data style, normal, lowercase, uppercase, AM, PM. Uh, dead format and the position left or right you can change it and the clock setting you have that and the traffic indicators that means that you can see on the top the icon the speed meter of internet you can just the set that value on zero and that's as well zero and the mix you, you if you want aex logo on the top you can see here if you enable this, then you will get a logo here icon and 4G icon and Volti as well working no problem on it. And you can see on the bottom the QS panel. You will get option here quick setting. You can check brightness slider, vibrate on touch, edit icon, disable quick setting and you can change the animation style here the flip rotate if you change it you will get that animation here the rotate and if you change it flip it will flip you can see so that's the animation actually and uh, the animation duration scale you can make it low default and fast and ties animation interpolar you can change any one of it you can choose what you want and here the notification you will get only heads up here in future more uh, settings customizations will add in this section on navigation on navigation you won't get anything because developers uh, uh, haven't added any setting here in, but in future update you will get many settings here no problem on it and log screen you will see here the log screen UI fingerprint authentication vibration if you enable this when you um, uh, keep your finger on your fingerprint scanner you will get a vibration and if you don't want that vibration then turn it off otherwise you can turn it off and you will get double tap lock screen you can see double tap lock screen just double tap on your screen it will turn off and double tap on it it will turn on it's working fine no problem on it and this is very smooth no problem show media art whatever you want and log screen shortcut you can change on uh, left side or right side let me show you you can change it and um, that's one as well with that option log screen tuner left right you can change and now at last the system and you will get general things the toe swipe icons and three finger swipe if you swipe three fingers it will take a screenshot and here is the button if you use button then you will get customization here 
if you use gesture you don't then you don't need that option so that's the short review on AOSP ROM so if you guys want to use that ROM on your daily life you can use it no problem on it it is very smooth and working fine no problem on it and battery details is really good uh, let me show you the battery details you can see I have charged my device uh, 20 hours ago now I have remaining 48 percent and I have got 6 hour and 54 minute almost 7 hour in the screen uses I'll get I I got here so still I have 48 percent to use so no problem and let me show the digital well-being here you can see digital well-being I have used uh, so many applications here that's the system so now move on to the installation process first of all switch off your device and you will get advanced boot menu here you don't need to uh, move on TWRP by pressing volume up and power button you can just go through here easily you can move on TWRP just press here you can see TWRP has come so what you have to do when you move on to TWRP you will get that pattern and you have to draw that pattern you have always used to unlock your phone so i am doing this you can see then your data will be decrypted you can see it is decrypted so no problem on it now what you have to do is if you are using android 10 room already and if you are moving from android 10 to 10 then you don't need to um, wipe your uh, data like format your data you don't need to format your data just go to wipe and go to advanced wipe and then select Dalby data cache system just that four options uh, not more or not less and then swipe I have already done that's why I'm not showing you the, you you guys just select that four option and then go to install and select the file here is the AOSP file I will provide the link in description no problem just select the ROM file and flash and you need to flash GFs of course because AOSP uh, comes with uh, didn't come with uh, GFs so you have to flash manually GFs I will provide the link in description no problem and I have already provided so many videos uh, you will get the GFs link on description no problem after flashing the ROM just if you want to flash a kernel then after flashing ROM you need to flash kernel just go to and you can see the genome kernel is here you can flash that after flashing genome kernel just flash disable force encryption file which uh, I will provide the link in description as well no problem there is the disable force encryption file then swipe when it gets done at last flash GF you can see here two GFs, flame GFs and uh, normal GFs that you can use, which is with caps. So whatever you want, flashing ROM, then you flash genome kernel, then flash disable force encryption, then flash GFs, then press on reboot system. Your device will boot up within few minutes. No problem on it so guys that's the video for today hope you guys like the video and if you guys really like and really love my work then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon and please join my telegram channel you will get more update on there uh, if you want to get update first then join telegram channel you will get the link of all rooms and i ha i always try to provide uh, uh, different model rooms like redmi 5 redmi 4x and whatever and if you need any room you can do comment i will provide the link no problem on it so thank you for watching